Hey guys, welcome to Meals with Maria and welcome to a fall meal prep video. And as you can see, I had my baby boy Benjamin on September 19th. He was born seven pounds, seven ounces. Um, I had him at home, so it was a really nice experience. It was wonderful for our family. We were able to be home the whole time. The family is adjusting really well. The little boys, my uh, four-year-old and six-year-old, absolutely love him. They keep saying how cute he is, and it's just nice getting used to being a family of five. So if you have any additional questions, feel free to head over to my Instagram, or you can comment below and ask questions. I'll be happy to answer them about the new lifestyle with an infant. Um, but in today's video, I did get some meal prep done, and I did it uh, ahead of time, so I'm actually pregnant in most of the video. But... Um, I'm excited to share with you some two ingredient pumpkin muffins, which I think I've shared before, but they are the best, so easy. And then I also made an apple crisp and some veggie pinwheels and some egg salad. So go ahead and check it out. You're going to love it and it's going to inspire you to hopefully do some meal prep in the fall for your family. So the first thing I'm going to make is an old fashioned apple crisp. And as you can see, I am still pregnant in this video. I have a few videos that I recorded while pregnant that you guys will see a little later. The first thing this recipe calls for is six golden delicious apples, which I have already chopped up. And then I am adding two tablespoons of sugar and one and one third teaspoons of cinnamon. And then you just want to mix that up really well and let those apples sit. In the meantime, I'm mixing three quarters a cup of flour with three quarters a cup of instant oats. To that, you wanna add one cup of packed light brown sugar. Now I'm gonna take a half a cup of cold unsalted butter and dice it up into little squares. And then I'm gonna add that into my uh, oat mixture and I'm gonna take a fork to kind of mash it around and I did end up using my hands just to mix everything together if you have a pastry cutter that is exactly what you want to be using here for some reason I realized I don't own a pastry cutter so I think it's about time I get one uh, but you just want to make sure that you mix it together really well you don't want to go too crazy with your hands especially because the butter is supposed to be very cold and that's what helps everything mix together well you definitely don't want to microwave the butter or bring it out early because the cold butter is what helps keep this topping really crispy and you definitely want a nice crispy apple crisp topping. Now pour your sliced apples into a 9 by 13 baking pan and then you're going to top it with the apple crisp topping. Now you just wanna bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for 40 to 50 minutes. I personally wanna make sure that my apples are fully cooked and everything is like bubbling. So I usually do about 50 minutes, but it's gonna depend on your oven. Now I personally recommend you serve this piping hot with a nice scoop of vanilla ice cream on top, but you can use whipped cream or whatever you like as well. Now this is the perfect time for me to jump into the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. But don't forget to stick around because two ingredient pumpkin muffins are coming up next. Now, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes where you can explore your skills, deepen your passions, get lost in your creativity. There is something for everyone. Recently took a class with one of my favorite creators, Matt Belisai, called Going Viral, Write, Film, and Make Content People Share. The class was so fun. There are photography classes, there are cooking classes, there are lifestyle, organization, your home, anything that you can think of, there's a class on. There are no ads, there are subtitles in multiple languages, languages and there are always new classes being launched. Skillshare is an amazing community with classes for all skill levels. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity today. Every person was born to create. Whether you picked up a paintbrush yesterday or in grade school, it's time to get inspired. So don't forget to click the link in my description box and get that free month of Skillshare. All right, we're coming in hot with our two ingredient pumpkin muffins. All you're gonna need is one package of Betty Crocker spice cake, and you'll mix that with one can of 100% pure pumpkin. Now 
Now, when you're mixing this, the mixture is definitely thick. Like it makes a very thick batter and that is what you want. Don't add any water to it or anything like that. The pumpkin itself is what's gonna make these so moist and amazing. So you don't wanna mess with that, I guess. Uh, just know that it will come out as a thick mixture. And then you just want to add it to 12 muffin cups. So one container of spice cake mix and pure pumpkin will equal 12 muffins. And then you're gonna to wanna to cook these at 375 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes. And here you can see kind of how thick that batter is. You do kind of need to like plop it in there. It's not just gonna pour into the muffin tins. And here are the muffins when they are finished to come out of the oven. You can see that they puff right up. They fill out your whole muffin liner. Next up, I'm gonna make some veggie pinwheels. These are a great after school snack for the kids. So definitely something I like to make this time of year. I'm making half the recipe and I post all the recipes down in the description box for you. So if you don't follow along or you miss something, go ahead and grab those there. Now, because I'm doing half the recipe, I just need a quarter cup of some peppers. You can use red, green, yellow, whatever you like. I happen to have red and just slicing those really small. I also hope you guys are really enjoying the baby whines, coos, and cries in the background. It's just where we're at these days. And I'm gonna add the peppers to my stand mixer bowl. You can use a hand mixer as well, so whatever bowl works best for that. So to this, I'm also gonna add a couple of sliced scallions, and then I happen to have some cooked broccoli in my refrigerator. I added that as well, because I figured that would just mix right in. The recipe, I think, calls for olives. We personally don't like olives, so I didn't add those. But the cool thing about these pinwheels is you can pretty much add any vegetables that you like, and they're a great addition, and they're a really, really good way to get your kids eating a little bit of vegetables in something that they really don't even, they don't even know they're there. Now I have a big container of ranch seasoning, but you're gonna use a half a packet if you're doing four tortillas or a full packet of ranch seasoning if you're doing eight tortillas. Personally, half the recipe today, that's gonna be a half packet as well as one container of eight ounce container of cream cheese. Now, once this is mixed up, I mean, basically this is like ranch veggie cream cheese. It's amazing. You could basically put it on a bagel. You could make this ahead of time for the week to do bagels. In this case, we're gonna do the pinwheels, so I'm gonna put them on a tortilla. Then you wanna add a quarter of the mixture to your tortilla. I happen to have wheat tortillas today, but I honestly think these look the best on a spinach tortilla or a sun-dried tomato tortilla or mix and match, do two of each or four of each. And then it just makes a pretty little color. And I think that the kids actually like those a lot better, but hey, use what we have around here. So you just wanna put that in a thin layer, about a quarter of the mixture that you've made, and then roll it up kind of like a fruit roll up, I guess. <laughs> you wanna roll it up like a pinwheel. And once we roll all four of these tortillas, we're just gonna slice them almost like you'd slice sushi about, and it, three quarters of an inch, I guess, thickness, or however you wanna do it. Here's the finished product. These were gone within a couple days. They're just so easy to just pop out as a snack and they're so delicious and fun. <laughs> Next up, I have a simple egg salad for you. Now, I love to make an egg salad at the beginning of the week or like on a Sunday and that way we are all set for the week for some 
grab and go lunches and you can just make that sandwich the morning of but it's delicious and easy and healthy so i had cooked six eggs in the steamer i love to use the steamer to cook the eggs for 14 minutes once everything's boiling then put them in a nice bath and then shell them and i like to use my potato masher to mash up the eggs that's personal preference you can use forks or you can dice them whatever works for you then to that i'm just going to add one sliced scallion about a teaspoon of yellow mustard. You could use Dijon mustard for this as well. And then about a quarter cup of mayonnaise. I know this recipe is super simple and easy and may seem like overkill for putting in a video even, but I just want to remind you that you can just make a simple egg salad like this and you have delicious lunches all week. You can see that I'm already putting it inside a Tupperware so that it's just sitting in there and then I'll make a fresh sandwich day of so that nothing gets soggy. Make sure to add salt and pepper to taste and you can double, triple this recipe, whatever you need to make it work for your family. I wanna thank you all so much for watching this video today. I hope you got some great fall inspiration for you and your family. If you're interested in another fall vibes video, I'm gonna put one up for you at the end of the screen here. You can click on that and watch some more fall recipes. And please remember to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. You will not see future videos on your feed if you do not subscribe. And I'll see you all soon.